people always want to know yeah um for you to be where you are today mm. you know we we've got human influence mm. we've got people who push us oh yeah um names Push videos, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that. Yeah, just like that. So, uh, uh, that's one person that I also, you know, uh -huh. really need to, to, to mention. He played a huge part. If I hadn't done that song, probably I wouldn't, even, you know, be guaranteed. Yeah. So, it's good. Uh, do not stop for anything. Okay. Do not stop for anyone. Do not even stop when you want to stop. Don't even stop for yourself. Because the gift that is in you is bigger than you because it's not for you alone, it's for you to serve everyone. It's your vibe, it's time to express you know. Greetings, hello and welcome to this exclusive and absolute interview with one Geri Mapanzuri. My name is T. Nash, the farmer. Geri, greetings and welcome. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Right, uh, a lot of people who are watching right now asking, is this the Geri Mapanzuri? Yeah. So first things first, an a cappella. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you, I'll give you just a little bit of something because you know it's me. Sure. Hectic, you know, a couple of days. <clears throat> Here we go. You gave me so much love, it fills the ocean flow. When you left me though, I couldn't swim. I hit the bedrock. I felt so lost. Without you, without you. Hey, time to say the walk on deep, I tell. <laughs> yes, uh, beautiful. I, I know someone who's watching right now. Out of the yeah, uh, without yeah. a doubt. True. African sushi. Yeah, bro. Kicked off as a, as a nickname. Oh, yeah. It's now a clothing line. Oh, yeah. How has it been happening for you? How's it been going for you? Bro, you know, I, I thank God, you know, for, for the blessings, you know what I'm saying, for, for everything. Everything's been going on well. Otherwise, if it wasn't going on well, I wouldn't have been doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? But I'm grateful for where God has taken me. Even if the times are, you know, have been or still are, tough sure. for everyone. I'm still grateful that it's gotten me here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people had the chance to be where I'm at right now. People lost lives. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? People know more. But I'm still here doing what I love. You know what I'm saying? And doing it to the best of my ability. So I'm, I'm grateful, man. Yeah. As an artist, yeah. you spoke of, you know, the road not having been an easy one. Oh, yeah, true. It's, yeah. it's been, you know, bumps. Mm -hmm. um, is it easy for an aspiring somebody, somebody who's like, yeah. one day, I really want to be like Gary. Oh, yeah. Is it all on a bed of roses? Is it on a silver platter? It's not. It's I'm not. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's not. It's not. Okay. What you have to do and, and believe as a person, what I believe in is, you know, you can never know unless you try. So at least you have to try, but it's not going to come to you easy. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? You, and not everyone can be a Gary. Like, I started off, you know, with my first song. Do you okay. know what I'm saying? And then from then, the song just blew. And then from my first song, everything just started going, you know, up here. But some people will release so many songs and so many right. songs. And then when they want to quit, that's when, you know, they will get that the break. Opportunity is about yeah, to come. So yeah. it's, not, it's not like a bit of roses. It's not served to you on a silver platter. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to work. You really have to work. You know what I'm saying? And then that's all I can say to any artist that's there and that's trying to, you know, make music or saying, I want to be where Gary is. Now, some will say, you know, you've got to know someone who knows someone, yeah. who at least knows someone. Yeah. You know no one. But is it possible still? Can I, it be done? I believe, you know, with, with this modern time and age that we're living in, you know, the social media, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I believe in a thing which is if you have a gift, if you have a talent, it will bring you and you will sit amongst, you know, kings and queens. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So if you have that one special thing and then if God has given it to you and then you say, you know, I want to serve my purpose, your purpose, the fact that you're serving it will take you there. You know what I'm saying? So you just have to do it. That's all I believe in. You just have to do it. You don't need to know no one. Those people will find you. They'll find you. They'll find you. You know what I'm saying? You just do your thing. Serve to the fullest of your abilities and those people will find you. Because if you go searching for people, you know, people say, you know how things are, people oh, yeah. say, he's desperate. 
you know what I'm saying? Some people will look at you. Some people will look down on you. But if you do your thing and say, God, you know, if the right people come, you know, towards my path, or I just want to serve. Then it will work yeah, out. it will work out, yeah. Right. Um, for you, yeah. was it Shores? Was it Airplay? Mm -hmm. You know, Radio Airplay? Yeah. Was it online presence? Yeah. What was it for Gary Mapanzuri? It was, at first it was social media, bro. It was, it was, yeah, it was actually Instagram. Instagram, yeah. okay. I didn't know. All right. Yeah, it was posted. My song was was going viral. Yeah, it's being posted on these sites like you know these all oh, these Zimsalems one on one now sites that are going on, and so my my song was posted on all these sites. They stumbled into it, and then they were just like, you know what? You know how they sometimes just take and post and others, and people were going crazy for that one all song, right. and then from there it started going. You know, so social media happened for me was. Was social media yeah, initially. Yeah, was social media initially. initially was, was, was the game changer. Oh, yeah, true. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there you have it. Uh, talking to one Gary Mapanzile right now. And yeah. it's all about his musical journey. It's all about where he's coming from, where he's going, and, you know, what he has been through. We'll take a break. And when we're back, we find out more in regards to one Gary Mapanzile. Keep watching. Okay. I think um, there are a lot of factors that... Uh, 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 contribute to uh, the problem that you've iterated. Mm. One of which is the artist himself. Yes. All right. Mm. We talk of the artist. We talk of the product, which in this case is music. Mm. We talk of uh, the market. Mm. Right. So the thing is, there's a big there's there's need for mentorship in terms of the artist. That's how I see it. Okay. Because most artists they are just uh, 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 you know, they are just fascinated by the fact that I've brought out a product mm -hmm. out there. But you'd be surprised that we've got plenty of people who are doing actually good, who are actually good in terms of music and talent, but they're not known anyway. Reason being, they are just someone walking from the bush trying to do something that they don't know anything about that industry. So there's need for the artists in Mutari to learn about the business side of music. This is the reason why you can have someone producing today and then you don't hear them again on the, in the sphere. You then hear them after a very long time. It's because, you know, when you, you've got to start treating your music as a product, something that you put on the market and you should expect some kind of revenue back. And for that to happen, there is need for serious coaching, serious mentorship, especially when it comes to our artists. It's your vibe. It's time to express, you know. We're back and we're talking to one Gary Mapanzula right now as he gets to you know, ride us through his journey through music. Today, your folks, those at home, receive a call. Mm -hmm. We have Gary here. This mm -hmm. is the police station. Mm -hmm. What one thing comes to their mind? Well, one thing. Yeah, this, this one thing that quickly comes to their mind. What has, been, what has he been arrested for? What have I been arrested for? Mm. Oh, is arrested? Yes. Probably. I mean, you, you, you are in <laughs> police custody. Yeah. 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 What's the one thing that... Chicha Sungiru again. Chicha Sungiru. Yeah, but what is it? Kuno, man. Shukai Kuno. Yeah, you probably had a concert which was too bad. A concert too bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, you, you were in China for yeah. how many years? For what? Two years. Yeah, from three years. Two years in China. Yeah. Is this where it all started? No, 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 no. It started in 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 Masingo. Right? It started in Masingo. Yeah, at home in Masingo. That's where I started making music, bro. All right. I mean, I, my my mom is a is a is a is a founder of a church. Okay. So my mom is an apostle, so started singing in church. Yeah, molded my gift there. All you right. know, I still sing in church. I'm not saying I don't sing in church. All you right. know, you find me on a Sunday, you will find me with the microphone. All right. You know what I'm saying in you'll church. Find, yes. Yeah, okay. Um, that's where it started, and um, humble beginnings. My swing at home. I uh, did my first song with my little brother, the one that you know took me from that level of that's just Gary Mapanzu who's just a regular something to the point of this Gary Mapanzu, the musician that we want to listen to oh, yeah. more. Yeah. So and then I left my swing and then after Mapanzu, then I went to China, mm -hmm. and then so when I went to China, I think I had a spell of like six months. I was quiet. I was trying to settle down. And then that's where I kind of can say I started building the brand. 
So China played a, a big role. It did play a role. It did play a big role. Yeah. All right. Uh, we've got young artists there, aspiring artists. Yes. You know, someone is saying, I want to become Gary one day. I oh, yeah. want to become a musician, my own brand. Mm -hmm. What are the chief mainstays, really, to, to making it, to being a successful artist? Yeah. What are the things that one you know, needs to consider? Oh, yeah. Um, what is it that you really need to put to heart yeah. and cultivate as yeah. an aspiring artist? I mean, you've been there. Yeah, definitely. You're still on definitely. that road. Yeah, eh? definitely. But yeah. someone young there, still at home, mm -hmm. you know, makeshift studio, yeah. trying to make it out, trying yeah. to work it out, really. Yeah. What are the chief main goals or chief main stays to it? Number one, I mean, the determination. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to be very determined. Um, do not stop for anything. Okay. Do not stop for anyone. Do not even stop when you want to stop. Don't even stop for yourself. Because the gift that is in you is bigger than you. Because it's not for you alone. It's for you to serve everyone. All right. So do not stop even when you feel like you want to stop. Because it's not your gift alone. You know? I always say that the gift in me is not for me. But it's for the world. I'm just a packaging. I was selected to say Gary. Here's a package. We're putting the gift in you. We're going and then we're delivering it. That's, that's, that's how I interpret my gift. So be determined, yeah? Be very, very, very disciplined. Okay. Be very, very disciplined. That's what I believe. You just have to have discipline. Like, even, you know, morals, your own values. You know what I'm saying? Be true to yourself. Be very true to yourself. Because if you're true to yourself, you will never change in the industry because of what people try to force you to become. You always stay true to yourself. And that very person that you remain from the beginning is the very person that is going to be the person that's going to win at the end. So be true to yourself. That's what I believe in. And pray. That's and, pray. and pray. Uh, there's huge yeah. mention of discipline in, in, in you know, our yeah. discussion here. Yeah. Um, how, how, how easy was it for you? I mean, you're Gary yeah. now and you're Gary yeah. of the Wapunza fame. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And you've got every other. I'll confess, you know, I I, I, I had this girl, you know, she, <laughs> she she'll put it on repeat uh, every time we're driving around. But oh, but yeah. yes, there you have it. I mean, you get it. Yeah. It's it's you feeling it. Mm -hmm. Um, how how easy is it? Not how difficult, but how easy, easy. is it for yeah. you to, you know, uh, deal with that, dealing with fame, dealing with, you know, all that popularity, and you know, a lot of people saying, oh, that's scary. I feel like at a point in time, when you, when you start, when it gets to you, when you realize that, okay, mm -hmm. this is actually happening, you know, you just live in the normal you, like you're doing you. I would always be told by my team that I feel like you haven't realized that this is what's actually happening to you and mm -hmm. you're still living the normal lifestyle, as in this is me, Gary, I'm just walking around like mm -hmm. you. Finally leave in the house and I'll be like, I'm going to chill with my friends. I talk to you know, A, B, C, D. <laughs> then my mom would be like... Fine, you know what I'm saying? And I can say it's, you get used to it, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you move from this place and then we take you to the North Pole, you say it's cold for the first week, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But then you get used to it, you change, you know what I'm saying? Because your environment changes. So I believe when the fame and the popularity when it comes to you, mm -hmm. you will also change, you okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, you will change. I feel like humans were made like that, to change in circumstances, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm used to it. <laughs> used to it. Yeah. <laughs> right, great stuff there. Um, yeah. People always want to know. Yeah. Um, for you to be where you are today, mm. you know, we, we've got human influence. Mm. We've got people who push us. Oh, yeah. Um, names. Of people that push me. Yes. Definitely. Was it, was it family? Um, Yes. Apart from family, who else and why the keen interest anyway? My, 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 I have to give big recommendation to my friend. His name is Simbarashi. Simba. Simbarashi Chikumo. That is my one friend that I always mention. Oh, okay. No matter what interview I'm at. Where is Simba? Simba's in Mosingo. Yeah, in Mosingo. All right. Simba's the one person that, funny story, now I'm going to take you back a little bit. Sure. He's the one person that was like, I made, when I made Wapunza, Wapunza was a voice note. I made, and then you know I was I was talking to my friend Simba. I was like Simba, it's Valentine's, bro. You know our girls are gonna think that ah, boy, Ziri, 
I told Boti, they can achieve every time, bro. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna sacrifice my voice. So Getty is a is is a ladies man. Yeah, I can put it that way. Yeah, you <laughs> for the ladies. Yeah, I can put it that All way. Right. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So he kicked off as a voice note. Yeah, as a voice note, bro. And uh -huh. then I sent it to my friend. So I was like, Yo, bro, you send it to your girl. And then I sent it to my girl. And then we go to town. And then we look for hampers and whatnot, whatnot. And then my bro listened to it. All right. And then my bro was like, Bro, there is no way I'm letting you waste this song. I was like, what do you mean? I was like, this song is actually amazing. Wow. I was like, nah, you're playing. So I told him, I'm not ready to go into studio. Like, I've never been into studio. That's going to be my first time. And I don't think that song cuts it anyway. Like, I didn't know much. What he did, he went and he looked for uh, a producer, a friend of mine. He looked for a producer. I said, guys, let's sit down. Let's make an instrumental for this. And then one day, we just force Gary to go to the studio. We to just tell studio. him we're chilling at the studio. Then he comes, and then we put it on, then we what? play it. And then I found out that he was doing that. I was actually mad at him. Oh, I was yeah. like, you can't do that, bro. No, nah, you can't do that. I told you I don't want to do this. Then you take him my material, and then you want uh, uh, Yeah. Without my consent. Yeah, without. He was like, bro, I'm doing this because I believe in you. You don't even believe in yourself at this point in time. That's why you don't want to do it. At least you need those people that believe in you to also push. Bro, I'm willing to be part of the vision. I was like, you know what, let me give it a go. And from that... I remember sending the song, you know, when it came out, he was like, I'm sending it on WhatsApp to everyone. He's buying data. Yeah. One, one. And then we did a video where to go get it from our other friend's house. His gate was logged. And then my guy was like, I'm jumping over the fence, Gary, at night. I'm going to get the video. Do you oh, know what I'm no. saying? Yeah. Like that. Yeah, just like that. So I, I, that's one person that I also, you know, really <clears> need to, to, to mention. He played a huge part. If I hadn't done that song, probably I wouldn't even, you know, be Gary sitting here. So it's kudos yeah. to Simba, isn't kudos it? Kudos to Simba, oh, yeah. yeah. And and my mom as well. My mom, you know, plays a major role. Because I know people that can be like, ah, he's singing. Uh -huh. I know these things. Like, what is he doing? Are like, you letting him sing? My mom is like, yo, let this boy sing. All right. My mom was like, the first person to say, I'm going to put fuel in your car. I'm going to do this for the video. Go, no, 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 you want studio. I'm going to, uh, let's go studio. That was my mom. My mom would wow. literally tell me, I think you said you're going to studio on Wednesday. I'd be like, ah, my mom is like, go to studio, go and record. Yeah. So I have to commit my mom. Right now, she's one of the most supportive people that I have my, my pillar of, of strength, wow. my anchor. Amazing. My yeah, even up until now. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, and my family as well, my friends. I'm not gonna They've, been They've been there. They've been there, man. Right, um, a different one here, yeah, Gary. Yeah. Um, people never got to, you know, get to the bottom of the matter. Yeah. The Vibe Concert. The Vibe Concert? Yes, the Vibe Concert. Was, oh. it, was it Vibe Concert? Vibe Concert? Which one is that one? Um, Gary was there. Yeah. Uh, Gary was meant to perform. Yeah. And Gary was a no-show. Concert was that? No, I'm trying to think. Uh, Gary. Gary. Was it, in, was it in Zimbabwe? Was it here? Was it in the UK? In the UK. In the UK. Then Gary. Ah. Then Gary. I uh, did not give an apology. Yeah, G I Gary that. did not I that. Um, give the media anything. Oh, yeah, it was just, yeah. you know, now you see me, now you don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. What happened? Basic principles, bro. At that point in time, everything was just so overwhelming. And I did miss the basic principles, like you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, now you know. If something like that is to happen, you have to give an apology. What? I remember I was still working by myself, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I got a booking in the UK. Yeah. And then, so, at that point, I was in China. So, my paperwork didn't work out. So, I was, you know, I was mentally ready. Like, I'm actually going. This show is going well. Everything has been sorted out. Mentally ready. And then, I get told, Gary, your paperwork didn't work out. Didn't work out. Yeah. I was like, you know what? So, what do I do next? Bro, I just closed myself up. Like, I just shut myself indoors. And I was that like, was I'm yeah, I was like, you know, I'm not even talking to anyone. Because... You know, when you tell everyone, even your friends, ah, shut up. Look at the UK show, I'm dad, uh, next uh, week, no, uh, no. And then the next thing, oh, Jabba, he said, and everyone was like, ah, I'm dad, I said, mommy, you didn't do no show. Don't you better say, yeah, say good. Yeah. But they posted, I'm going to read, and then so just to shut yourself from explaining it to everyone, what not, oh, yeah. I completely closed myself out. And then, yeah, at that point in time, I was, I was meant to give out an apology. Mm -hmm. But I didn't even know that that was the right thing to do because my career kind of went from just there too. Oh, yeah. So everything was happening around me and I didn't know. In a flash. You know, yeah, like, well, how do you do? How do you manage this? What do you do? Do you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. that's, that's why artists like me, mentors, guide, guide us. Are you a shy somebody? 
managers know I'm not. Bro. You're not. I'm not. I'm not. I can't say I'm not. <laughs> we'll yeah. take a breather once again. <laughs> and when we're back, we'll yeah. wrap this one up with Gary Mapanzo. It's your vibe. It's time to express, you know. We're right here in the beautiful Eastern Highlands, interviewing one Gedi Mapanzure here. Gedi, um, is this your first time in Mutari? No, nah, it's not my first time. It's not your first time? It's not my first time. Uh, have, have you penned down a song for Mutari, for the beautiful you know, scenery that you see? Have you done that? You know, that's homework for me, bro. It's homework for you. Yeah, will you do me. that? I will, and I also don't want to make each and every other city jealous. You know what I'm sure. saying? So, yeah, Understood. But, but yeah, but, but what's your take on you know the people of Mutari, um, the scenery itself? Oh yeah, it's beautiful. I was even telling, I was even talking to Obama, like the producer, and I was saying, bro, you know I don't like coming to Mutari, and then I just spent like two, three days. Okay. I like this place. Even the people, the energy, though. I, I, I would want to stay for like a week. You know what I'm saying? Just here, Mutari do music and not move around. Like I've never actually had time to like move around. It's usually always work, 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 work. Yeah. The people here are beautiful. The scenery, the mountains, everything is just, just beautiful. I love this place. Mm -hmm. I actually do, yeah. And um, you spoke of one uh, Obama who's a producer here. I mean, oh, you've yeah, worked right, with right. producers. Oh, yeah. um, JD Studios, uh, oh, yeah. how, how has it been with you, uh, your musical journey so far? I mean, uh, what, what have you seen? What can you tell someone who's watching right now? Yeah, bro. First of all, I'm 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 in love with the studio. I feel comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah, I feel very comfortable. You know, one of those is that studio where you feel like it's, it's the people make you part of it, not just Gary who's coming to record and then. And that's leave. it. Yeah. Yeah, you feel part of it. Like you know what this is. My studio, JD Studios is my studio. It's Gary's studio. That's 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 the feeling that I have. It's one of those where I even, you know, just want to go uh -huh. do what I do. And if I want to record, you know, I'm always, you know, uh -huh. in Mutare. I, I, I love it. The reception has always been amazing mm -hmm. when I'm here. I mean, the producers are amazing. I work with Trey, you know, Obama, amazing mm -hmm. producer. We've been working for, like, what, two days. Like, we probably it's been, it's been no amazing. sleep, bro. Yeah, it's been amazing. And I'm obviously definitely going to come back. And I want to tell anyone. All right. Who's looking, any artist out there, any upcoming artist, any artist that thinks, you know what, I'm already a branded artist. If you want a studio that makes you feel like home and that knows what they're doing, I'm here. Mm. So if you don't want to come, my friends, that's your loss. That's, that's I it. am here and I traveled all the way. I literally traveled all uh -huh. the way from Ashingo, actually to say, just to come here for studio. Wow. Yeah, I'm Amazing. not doing anything. Else. It's just studio. I'm not doing any shows. What not? I came to JD Studios all the way from my, from show, my team. It's an amazing place. I feel Wonderful. like a lot of people need to experience the vibe, the energy, the creativity that is here. Yeah. Wow, interesting there. Yeah. Um, producers you have worked with in Zimbabwe, oh, yeah. um, in Sub-Saharan Africa, the world yeah. over, mm. who you want to say kudos, a big shout out to you. Yeah. for having been a part of my journey oh yeah you know I've, I've i've worked with so so many producers and i don't i'll just name some and i sure. don't want if i leave any please forgive me you know shout out to our again i'm uh -huh. going to give a special mention to to trey because who's one that's one person who produces for me and also he's my sound engineer like mixes and masters All right. my my songs and whatnot big kudos to him i really appreciate him produces songs for me i appreciate it. i've worked with people like juicer Dementor, uh, just a dementor. So many times on so Big many name. projects, I really appreciate him. Yeah, that's my that's my bro. Yeah, I've, you know I've worked with people that I did my first song with, you know King Chief. I did Wapunza with. Appreciate him. I've worked with Mr. Camera. <laughs> I've worked with Rhymes in the UK, and yeah, so many artists that are, you know producers that I've worked with, and I've, yeah, big shout out to them, and I really appreciate. It. Really appreciate. It. Yeah. Any near collabs? Oh, future yeah. collabs? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, Getty featuring who? <laughs> or, or, or you don't want to preempt? <laughs> yeah, yeah kind of. You know, something is telling me, you know, bro, yeah, just, just do uh -huh. it. Something is like, keep the element of surprise, you know. Right. But yeah, I've got, I've got some, I've got local, you know, artists mm. from Zimbabwe, yeah, that are actually doing their thing very well, that I'm working with on projects. And also like international, you know, collabs as well. Great yeah, stuff. so 
people have to wait on that one. You know what I'm saying? Because right. as artists, you always love to keep that element of surprise. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess that up. All right, yeah. uh, <laughs> Vicky. Oh yeah. Vicky came mm -hmm. on that one song. Oh yeah. Wapunza. Mm -hmm. And Vicky disappeared. Oh yeah. Who is Vicky? You know, yeah, Victor is my is my younger brother. Younger like, brother. Same mom, same dad. All right. Blood, yeah. So is he a musician like you? He is a musician, but with Victor, it's kind of he was at school. All right. So he was focused on his studies. You know, he was like, bro, I'm gonna focus on my studies for now. I personally gave myself time. I'm not saying if you're like in school, don't do music, what not. No, I was writing was about. Personally, it was a personal decision. I felt like I had to finish my high school first and then, you know, start doing music or whatnot, whatnot, whatnot. So that's what Victor kind of did. Victor finished, you know, his high school. And then now, I'm even here with him, like in Mutari. Fun fact is we actually recorded a song. Do you know what I'm saying? Wow. Me and Victor here. In, so this is the second time Gary wow. and Victor, you know, made a song. It's in JD Studios. Wow, yeah. great stuff. So that's, that's beautiful. So, yeah, that's, that's Victor. My little brother. He's back on the scene now All right. with his brother again. Yeah, mm. so wait for it. It's going to be huge. And uh, to wrap it up, uh, yeah. Gary, um, upcoming artists, yeah. aspiring musicians, mm. what would your message be to them from Gary? From Gary? Yeah. Don't ever stop. That's what I just want to tell you. Do not ever stop for anything, like I said, for anyone not even for yourself. I'll repeat this again. The gift that is in you is not for you only, but it's for the world. You are just a packaging. You have a bigger purpose. So do not be selfish to think about you and you alone. There are people that will be helped. There are people that will be given life, joy, by just seeing you do what you do at your best. So do not stop and always pray. Do not forget to pray. That's what I believe in. Yeah. There you have it. He said, always don't forget to pray. Oh, yeah. And I think the next thing, it's going to be the farmer featuring uh, one Gary Mapanti. Come on. Gary, always a pleasure. Thank <laughs> you appreciate so much you. for having come through and, you know, taking time to you know, talk to us. Yeah, thank you for having me. I appreciate you. Wonderful. Thank you. Sure, sure. Oh, oh, oh.